And can you tell us a little bit about how this prescribed burn came about? Did you approach uh, Forest Service or how did that happen? I did approach the Forest Service, the partners that I've had over the years with the Forest Service and had them come out here and they actually developed a, a burn plan for this site. And at their recommendations, we decided to go ahead and pursue a controlled burn at Hemlock Bluffs. Of course, with all the proper approval processes that wouldn't have to occur before it. About how long was that process before we got to today? Not quite two years. It's been a while. Okay. And, uh, and tell us a little bit about the benefits of the burn. Uh, why, why did you decide that you needed it here? primary reason for this burn was the fuel control. We're, we're sort of an, one of those urban interfaces with other houses, and we wanted to make sure that there wasn't a lot of fuel adjacent to those houses that are on our closest border. That's the primary reason, fuel reduction. And then also there's going to be some added benefits for us, obviously, of regeneration of some vegetation uh, and oak seedlings, wildlife benefits. And of course, this is a system that historically burned from time to time, probably from lightning strikes historically. And fuel loads have been building up here for several years. So we thought it was a good idea to go ahead and try to start to knock them down a little bit in small pieces. And this is a small burn, two, three acres at the most probably. So it's gonna be a very small burn that'll We'll probably move through this compartment with smaller burns over the years, and eventually the fire threat to the adjacent neighborhood should be about about gone, really. That's our primary plan for right now. And what can people expect? Uh, you know, the landscape is it going to change any, or it's really uh, just the leaves are. Or I what's think people will walk out here six months from now, they wouldn't know there was a fire. But the benefits will be there because of the and nutrients added to the soil and you'll get some flush of vegetation. If you walk through carefully and have a keen eye, you'd notice it, but I'd have to point it out to the, the typical, probably public person, what had happened. And, and uh, maybe some oak ceiling regeneration, we're hoping we'll open up some places where they can be more competitive. And uh, that, that would be a great thing for us if we could get a little bit of that, because right now this compartment doesn't have a lot of oak regeneration in it, and we'd like to get more in it. So this would be a good side benefit of the fuel control burn.